All right, we're back to car stereo installation 101. It's very important to have the not right tools, but a lot of people don't. I'm, I'm older, I collected tools, and once you get good, good, good tools, then you don't need that much more. This hole right here will fit this six inch across Rockford Fosky um, mid-range, it's a mid-range speaker. What I have to do is get a hole that large and put it in the other side over there without hitting any metal or have to avoid the, the uh, posts for the um, windows, which is right there. And it's a tricky little fit, but it's going to work. Now when you do this, your best thing to do is put a bunch of rags down in here so you don't have any, you're going to get metal chips or whatever. It's a lot easier to do if the car is an old piece of junk rather than brand new and you're paranoid about hurting it. But the speaker Oh Christ. One. It's hard to do this with one hand. We'll go in like this right here. And with this is a kind of a new range, new age kind of a deal. This, uh, in a regular stereo, and if you don't know anything about stereos, um, I'll just give you the basics. If you do, then just don't skip this video. This is considered a mid-range, or your mid-level of tone. And then you have a tweeter, which is like this right here. This is considered a tweeter. That's one I had in the car. And you see it's nice and small. It covers your very high range. And you can see the hookup I've got right here. What I'm going to do is this mid-range came with a tweeter. It's Rockford Fosgate. And I'm going to put the tweeter about right here. Now the trick to putting it right here is you want to make sure that your window rolls up and down. You also want to make sure that when you go to turn the handle right here that it's not going to hit your hand isn't going to hit the tweeter wherever that is so that you can easily grab the handle like the tweeter wasn't there because if the tweeter gets in a way it'll annoy you all the time but the tweeter will go about right here and so that'll be my left front one of my left fronts the other left front will be a four inch which will be I mean, don't go back to that size. There are the crossovers for it right there. The one on the left will have wires that go up underneath here, over here, over here, over here. And there'll be a tweeter right down in here on the kick panel. And there'll be right here will be a, a, another four inch speaker. So that, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. And what that'll do is give me um, two really nice uh, front, right, and left speakers. And then back here, this is where I'll put the bazooka amp when I figure out how I'm going to do it. Now that and I have the four, I have four five ray, five way speakers, and I don't know how I'm going to put those in yet. So I've decided instead of looking at the whole job and going, my God, it's just too big, I can't do it. My girlfriend says that a lot to me. That was that was a joke, okay, joke. I'm going to put the amps in. I'll put one of the amps in right here, 75 watt four-way channel amp, and I'll hook up all my wiring to it. It's kind of fun doing this, if it's, as long as it's not too hot. But one thing I've learned about getting older is that it's it's better to take your time. Now, if you have a new new rig or a new car, it takes a lot more time because you're much more freaked out about damaging things. This truck is 20 years old. I accidentally broke this, but hell, it lasted 20 years. Pocket. I'll just get a new one. Get it on eBay. I'm going to fix all the, the little fabric problems, keep the truck clean, and see what happens. So that's where I'm at right now. Now I'm going to install the tweeter on this side. And when I get the tweeter where I want it, I'll have to cut out the metal first, and then I'll cut out the, the, uh, the panel here, which is cardboard. I'll take the panel off. I'll go over to this panel and take it off. And then I'm going to mirror this panel against that panel 
and since my old the first panel right here has got all the cutout will have all the cutouts I'll just stencil the cutouts exactly where they have to go and I will um, cut out the holes I'll reinstall the panel see what obstructions are in back that I need to cut out and it'll be a lot easier putting in the second one then I can put the dash and everything back together and put the seat in and have a normal truck again and then of course today I've got to go out racing. I put some new oil in the bike and I gotta I've gotta go out and feel the speed.